We thank God much for all the praises and testimonies that went up before. Wonderful, wonderful. We thank God for all the praises and the testimonies that went up before him. At this time, we ask that you prepare yourself for the offering at this time. Prepare yourself for the offering at this time. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings. Welcome to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Announcements reads as follows. I want to continue to keep Pastor Jennings in your prayers, as well as his family. I want to pray for the brothers that labor along with them and their families. I want to pray for the sick and the shut in the youth department, as always. We want to pray for one another. The meetings that's taking place today uh, says for those that's desiring to get their passport or to renew their passport, they will be holding a class today at 4 p.m. in the gymnasium. Again, those that desire to get your passport or to renew your passport, they will be holding a meeting today at 4 p.m. and that will take place in the gymnasium. Also, there will be choir rehearsal for the mass choir. That will take place after service downstairs in the lower sanctuary by the musician side. Also, it says, greeting Sister Sierra, the owner of Love and Butter, will be selling baked goods after the service in the gymnasium. It says um, there's a limited supplies. It says we have our popular banana pudding and more. So for those that desire to uh, purchase that, you can see Sister Sierra in the gymnasium after the service. Also, if you are blocking anyone in the parking lot, we ask please that you make your way out after the service. Do not wait, that way those that desire to leave can leave. So if you're blocking someone in the parking lot, we ask please do not sit around after service. We ask that you move your vehicle so please people be able to leave out. On the prayer list, I want to remember Mother Jean Shawwell, Sister Michelle Flores and her husband from Colorado. Elder English and his family, Priscilla Williams, and the Atlanta Temple Congregation. We want to remember all those. Also, prayer will be here at the temple tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. Again, prayer will be here at the temple tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. Next announcement. Uh, this comes from the youth captains. It says, greetings. First Church Apparel is now on sale. You can order online and have your items shipped to you or pick up here at the headquarters, middle of October. It says you can scan the QR code to order. Proceeds go towards youth activities. Last date of purchase is September 29th. You can also email them at youth underscore captains at fcooljc.com. Again, youth underscore captains at fcooljc.com. Next announcement, um, this is from the transportation team. Uh, this is regarding the combined 29th Delmar, Delaware and the 9th Baltimore, Maryland anniversaries. For those that desire to take the bus to this anniversaries, today's the last day to make your payment so that you can be able to ride down on the bus. And the last announcement, uh, this is a five week report of baptisms. We thank God for the souls that got baptized this morning. Thank God much for you. So the five week report, uh, 57 here in headquarters, 19 in New Brunswick, New Jersey, 35 in Bronx, New York, one in Buffalo, New York, 10 in Pine Bush, New York, 10 in Boston, Massachusetts, 13 in Baltimore, Maryland, two in Washington, D.C., five in Del Mar, Delaware, five in Portsmouth, Virginia, two in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, four in Oxford, North Carolina, four in Greensboro, North Carolina, 10 in Raleigh, North Carolina, one in Greensville, South Carolina, two in Charleston, South Carolina, 16 in Columbia, South Carolina, eight in Florence, South Carolina, 43 in Atlanta, Georgia, Eight in Valdosta, Georgia. Three in Savannah, Georgia. Twelve in Augusta, Georgia. One in Naples, Florida. Two in Jacksonville, Florida. Thirty-four in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. One in Utsits, Florida. Four in Tallahassee, Florida. Forty-two in Orlando, Florida. Three in Jackson, Mississippi. Sixteen in Memphis, Tennessee. Fifteen in Lafayette, Louisiana one in Seattle, Washington, 
22 in Los Angeles, California, 16 in Sacramento, California, two in Las Vegas, Nevada, six in Portland, Oregon, 11 in Minnesota, four in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 33 in Detroit, Michigan, 12 in North Chicago, three in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, six in Cincinnati, Ohio, seven in Columbus, Ohio, six in Indianapolis, Indiana, 14 in Dallas, Texas, 11 in Del Rio, Texas, 12 in San Antonio, Texas, 21 in Houston, Texas, 12 in Austin, Texas, International, eight in Brantford, Ontario, Canada, four in Edmonton, Canada, one in Montreal, Canada, one in Arcana, Canada. Next page. Seven in Puerto Rico, 21 in South London, three in Dubai, 47 in Berlin, Germany, one in Durban, South Africa, 17 in Johannesburg, South Africa, 19 in Cape Town, South Africa, one in Kimberley, South Africa, three in Kisi, Kenya, three in Nairobi, Kenya, four in Uganda, three in Botswana, 39 in Malawi during the convocation, 72 in Mozambique uh, convocation, four in Liberia, eight in Volta, Ghana, 43 in Ghana State, Nigeria, one in Edo State, 17 in Bombay State, seven in Nazarawa State, Nigeria, one in the Mauritius Island, 29 in Jamaica, five in Barbados, 13 in Trinidad, four in Serenine, five in uh, St. Kitts, five in Barsaban, Australia. That's a five week total of 966 souls. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We also, we also thank God for the many that also received the Holy Ghost as well. We thank God for that as well. And the last announcement, it says, if you desire to be baptized at any of our meetings, please arrive with your own clothes, any color to be baptized, and also two to three towels per person. If you have any questions, please email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, baptism at truthofgod.com. This comes from the First Church Baptism Committee. We ask also after the service during baptisms that you use the bathrooms on this level and above. We want to leave the bathrooms downstairs for those taking place. So now we thank God we have our pastors back in the building. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We thank God much for it. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Now y'all know what pastor do. He'll tell y'all, sit back down. <laughs> sit back down. But we thank God much for him. The message is certainly reaching the people, yeah. the young people, the gang members, folks. Are, the message of holiness is reaching out. So we certainly thank God much for our pastor. Now for the most important part of everything we've done today, the word of God by the apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. Long way, Lord. Hallelujah. Mighty long way. Mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way, Lord. Thank you. 
brothers and sisters. Thank God to be at home again. We bear witness. There is no God but one. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. There is no God greater than him. He is and shall forever be God alone. Beautiful to see all many brothers and sisters here today. Amen. We thank God for the way of holiness made known to the prophets and the apostles for our learning. We thank them for all of our brothers <clears throat> that minister and word and doctrine that are here and them that are not here. For the many millions of viewers that are watching, it feels good to say that this program is coming from headquarters this time. After being away for a little bit over a month, we have a very good meeting in Berlin, Germany, and Mozambique, Africa, and Malawi, Africa. If you've seen the program on YouTube, you see how God is really blessing the church. Many brothers and sisters came from other African countries and uh, we many that was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus in Kenya and Uganda. We had a van load of saints coming from Zambia and I thank God for sparing their life because on the road there was on there was no guardrail. And the van was full, and it flipped right over the embankment. I don't know how far down they tumbled, but the van tumbled at least three, four, five times. They text the pictures to Pastor Benny, who showed them to us. The total van was looked like it was just crushed. Thank God nobody was killed. Thank God for that. When you look at the van, you will have to wonder how was it there was. Hallelujah. You will have to wonder how did everybody escape. Everybody was rushed to the hospital. But before I left Malawi, the word got back to me. All the saints from Zambia was back home safe. You know you have to have a love for the truth. That's why we travel the way we do, because God put in us a love for the truth, and to have a love for the truth, you have to put in you a love for the soul of the people. This is why we're laboring like we are. The word reach souls in Uganda. I had a woman with a children flew in on their own private jet. <laughs> and uh, they came in. She gave me her personal testimony. Her and her husband owned the own private airlines there in the country of Uganda. And she said, you're the only preacher that got to me. It wasn't me that got to her, it was the Holy Ghost that got to her. Uh, 
Wasn't for long we asked you want to be baptized. She had changing clothes, going down and walking. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Everybody might as well give up. <laughs> There's just no need to keep fighting this. Whether you're black, white, brown, yellow, or red. Preachers came, gave up, surrendered, went down in the water. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful. While we was there, we were as always working. And uh, the African choir sounds so wonderful. And the brothers had the chance to visit some of the villages. Soon they will be putting it together and uploading it on YouTube so everybody can see it. They're asking for us in Uganda. Zambia, Kenya, so many other places, Ivory Coast, Nigeria. There's just so many members of the Truth of God family throughout all of Africa want us to come where Pastor Paul's stomping ground was when God first stopped them in Damascus. We got souls there. Amen. So, Amen. I'm tired. I really am. We uh, got back and uh, certainly was trying to adjust back to the time here. So we was trying to get some rest in. And I thank God for my wife and children. Amen. See me walk off through, through the night, she'll be like, you up again? I say, yeah, you know how it is. I'm trying to get back in sync. Yeah. You know, when it's so bad until herbs won't even help. Well, you just have to wait until time takes its course. Uh, while we're here in the main auditorium, the evening session will be up here also. Uh, the contractors there are not finished. But we had to have it up here the day because, as you know, downstairs wouldn't have been able to hold the people. Now, today at uh, about 3.30, God willing, I want to say to my traveling team, remember, we have to have a brief meeting. I have things to catch up on and we have traveling that's still in the process. We only have, what, three more months left in a year? My goodness, time is moving along quick. So to my traveling team, God willing, at 3.30, we want you in the conference room so we can get to work right away. To the uh, EAC, all members of the EAC, on Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m., and all brothers and sisters that are barbers, all brothers and all sisters that are barbers along with the EAC, there'll be a seven o'clock meeting on the fourth floor of the administration building God willing, we want to get ready to open up our first Church of the Lord Jesus Christ Barbershop. Amen. All brothers and sisters, along with the EAC committee, seven o'clock sharp on Thursday coming, there will be a business meeting on the fourth floor of the administration building in the room of the minister's council. Now this program that we'll be putting together will be a model for the barbershop business venture that we're venturing out for 
in all locations. This will be the model. And once we get this implemented, necessary licenses and things of that order, what have to be done, because I have plenty of barbers here, brothers and sisters. Don't misunderstand me now, no women here will be getting cut. So if you was about to speak in tongue, you hold your tongue on that. <laughs> no women were getting their hair cut or nothing like that. No hair dying. We gonna keep holding this holy and everything. Amen. But please don't forget, Thursday at seven o'clock be on time. Brothers and sisters that cut hair, along with the EAC brothers and sisters. Be there at seven o'clock on the fourth floor. I want to say happy birthday to Brother Williams this week. Amen. You may not look it, but he just turned 65. It's a blessing. Thank God for your script. Thank God for you, Pastor. Amen. He been hanging in there. He was with me from day one. Amen. Thank God for that. Pray God that the Lord keep him and preserve him, that he see many more. Amen. To all of my viewers throughout the state of Maryland, Delaware and Virginia. Next weekend, I believe it is. No, this weekend. I'll be in Baltimore, Maryland. At the Baltimore Sheraton Inner Harbor Hotel, 300 South Charles Street, Baltimore, Maryland, September 28th and 29th. You that are in the state of Maryland, all of you saints throughout Washington, all of you throughout all of Delaware, all of you throughout Virginia, all of you throughout New Jersey, everywhere. Amen. I've been at the Baltimore Sheraton Inner Harbor, 300 South Charles Street, this Saturday and Sunday coming, 28th and 29th of September. You be there. Chicago, Illinois. Yes, God willing, I'll be in the South Chicago area, Chicago, Oak Brook, Illinois. That's Sunday, October 12th and the 13th at the Double Tree by Hilton, Chicago, Oak Brook, 1909 Spring Road. That's the Double Tree by Hilton, Chicago. Oak Brook, 1909 Spring Road, Oak Brook, Illinois. All of Chicago and surrounding states, you that want to be right, and want to get your soul right, preachers and everybody, you be at that meeting. Bring your baptismal clothes with you. You that is in Baltimore, bring your baptismal clothes with you. Bring several towels. Leave your false church. Who? You. <laughs> you leave it. Give me that bottle of water right there that I left next to my chair, please. Thank you, brother. You leave your false church and come on, bring your pastor. Thank you, sir. Bring your pastor. And uh, I was watching one of the messages this week on YouTube. You know how they have other messages and other churches on your right side of your screen and that was a false prophet he takes patience to watch hypocrites so I log on I can't think of the bishop name I wish I could because I want him amen he was a he's a homosexual bishop and sitting to his left was the first man. 
and he took his time and blasphemed the Bible. He said Jonathan and David was homosexual lovers. He said Ruth and Naomi was the first lesbian couple in the Bible. Didn't I tell you they don't have no fear? People were standing up clapping. He said he was anointed. He was anointed by the devil. Glory to God. I can't think of this preacher's name, but if I have it before next week, I want you, you dreadlock wearing false prophet. God said he made man in his image. And we're not going to let nobody get away who's trying to muddy the Bible. If you want to have same sex, just say that's something you want to do. But don't try to muddy the Bible and say that's God's agenda. God going to keep holiness holy. I want to remind everybody, you that's in Cincinnati, Ohio, God willing, we'll be there if the Lord's will in November. Now to all of my viewers throughout the Bahamas, amen. I told Ferguson some time ago, the dates that he selected don't work for me. I will not be in the Bahamas for the convention there. I won't be there, but I'll be sending someone. God willing, I'll be in Cincinnati, Ohio. I can't be everywhere. Amen. So when dates are set for conventions, brothers, consider. Consider my schedule is more tight than everybody. That's true. Set your time up where, if possible, we can be there with the saints. Otherwise than that, it will clash with my consistent traveling. I'm not at all local, but as you know, we're everywhere. God be our help. Uh, Jamaica, God willing, I'd be there for the Jamaican conference, as I see so far. And uh, I know November I'd be somewhere, I just can't remember. Hmm. To the South Pacific churches, throughout the Fiji Islands, Samoan Islands, Cook Islands, you that are near Japan, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam. God willing, we'll be in Australia. First, we'll be in New Zealand. Then we'll come up for the South Pacific Conference in Australia, God be our helper, if they still approve my passport. So far, so good. Now the closing year conference, which is a combined men and women conference, will be held in headquarters. I know we can't hold the people, I know that, but I'll be just getting back in the country the same week of the closing year conference, and I'm not coming back in the country just to fly away again. No, I'm going to be home. And uh, I'm going to have problems adjusting back to the time because that's almost a whole day's difference. It's not six or seven hours. It's almost close to 24 hours difference. Uh, so I believe we get back either that Monday or Tuesday and the closing year convention starts Thursday. So we have the ministers, God willing, minister Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so far as I see. That's what's in my mind. And God willing, in my mind, I just close it. I have to say it like that because if the Holy Ghost moved me, then obviously the Holy Ghost is going to give me strength while I'm trying to adapt to this time. But I'm glad that we have brothers to help us and that are helping us labor in word and doctrine. I want to thank God again for Elder Dan Deman Stasiak. Yeah. 
who've been doing a good job here in headquarters while we've been absent. And I thank God for Elder King going back and forth to New Brunswick. And God for Minister Cole of the Bronx, New York area. And Elder Fletcher of Portsmouth and Elder Wright from Newport News that are here. We're glad for everybody. All right, get your cookbooks open. The Bible says, except the Lord build the house. They labor in vain that buildeth. This is not our church. This is the church by the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the builder. He's the founder. He's the originator. Let me say this while I come to mind. I just want to remind you, remember, next year is our regional conventions. First convention, I don't have the announcements, I believe is West Coast, and next is Southwest, and Midwest, and then South, and East Coast, but we want to remind everybody of that. Oh, let me say this while I come to my mind. Now, as we was in uh, Africa, we still was working here, or concerning things yet. God had blessed us again, we have another new temple. Amen. We have a new temple in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ron, put it up, please. There it is. Have a beautiful temple in Pittsburgh. You can show some more pictures if you got more. Give me some more of them, Ron. There you go. All right, that's wonderful. That's enough. We got it. God have blessed us. All of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, saints. Listen out for your announcement. We'll be flying to Pittsburgh to give you your walkthrough. And let you know what to do and so we can get Pittsburgh up and running. We signed that contract while I was in Africa, trying to get that done. I want to remind everybody, now from the time we started last year, with the uh, expansion program, we raised 2,226,000. $181.61. cents. $2,226,000. $2,226,181.61. Some of you have been writing me and say, Pastor Jennings, we don't hear you talk about the expansion program. Listen, when I had our business meeting last year, I certainly wasn't expecting to mention it every week. We know our duty. We know what we are asked to do once a year. So every country, every state can benefit from our international sacrifice of $1,000 a year. $1,000 a year. This figure only means that 2,226 people gave. This year's general convocation, do you know how many we had in the building about? Almost 8,000 people. Wow. We had about 7,800 7, chairs set out and they all was full. We're asking for all cities, 
states, countries, the sacrifice of $1,000 a year, not a month, a year. The expansion program is that we may buy temples. You see every place we go, all these hundreds going down in the water. Amen. Amen. As it stands now, we don't want to use up all that, so we're forced to get loans. We have to buy temples in every state, several per state, not just in America. We got to spread temples throughout Canada, Africa, all the South Pacific Islands. So remember, everybody, this is a call for everybody to roll up their sleeves and put your shoulder to the well. It ain't for me. No need for me to tell you that. You know it ain't for me. I'm after you and not yours. I don't have a, a, a Kreffler old dollar spell. Amen. Or Kenneth Copeland's spell or T.D. Snicks. The only spell that's on me is what God put on me. Amen. So we want everybody cooperation for the work of the Lord. Amen. Soon, you that is in the Charlotte, South Carolina area, couldn't find the place that I want in Charlotte. Is it North Carolina? In Charlotte, North Carolina. Couldn't find a place that I want within Charlotte, so I went about one hour or 50 minutes outside of Charlotte, and we found the place in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. God willing, we'll let you know if everything continues to go right. We'll settle on that and let you know when you'll have your walkthrough. Folks, I know it's logging on now. What about us, Pastor Jennings? What about us? All truth of God followers. If you give me your cooperation, we can open up a soul-saving station everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. This is for the glory of God. Not only temples that we're looking to open, we're looking to open up businesses for the church. Amen. That the unemployed may have employment. Amen. We don't just want to set up tables and sell cookies. We want our own bakery. Amen. Let the brothers and sisters roll up their sleeve and have their own truth of God bakery. We want to have our own barber shops. We want to have our own laundry mats. We want to have our own cleanances. We want to have our own gas stations. We want our own everything. Amen. Have our own everything. Amen. I don't have a narrow vision. I just don't want to help the people spiritually. We want to help each other naturally. You go to Africa and other areas, there are many people less fortunate than we are. Amen. All of Africa is not in this condition. But many parts of Africa is. And uh, so we will be announcing a closed drive. All the churches throughout America and Canada and abroad, you keep tuned. We will be announcing a closed drive. And we'll let you know, Brother Ray, one of my international secretaries, he will organize a team. He will have a representative from every location in the country. So we can coordinate and have a closed drive. We don't have to give stuff to Salvation Army and all that stuff. We got an army right in the body of Christ. <laughs> Nothing wrong with giving them things, but if you know there's people right among you that are in need, and we're not going to sit by and just speak in tongue and shout. We're going to help those that are less fortunate than we are. Yeah. Am I right, I said? 
So if you got clothes you was about to give away <laughs> to some boutique or Salvation Army or thrift store, just hold on to it. Just wait. Now we're not going to send pants to the women and we're not going to send the miniskirts. What you going to have, what we're going to send them is the same thing that you can glorify God in. Amen. Don't send them your makeup, throw that in the trash. Don't send them your toupees, you throw that in the trash. Amen. Even in this, we're going to keep holding this holy. You know, I want to open up our own clothing store. Sure I do. And we want all this done for the church, not just all down Fifth Street. We want our other locations. This, why, this is why when we buy temples, I'm looking at the bigger picture. Temples that have administration buildings and schools where we can open up shops and businesses right in-house. Amen. Where we can take areas of the administration buildings and schools, turn big classrooms into legitimate businesses. Amen. You can have a barbershop pole twirling right outside of a classroom. That which used to be a classroom where you can seat about six or seven barber chairs. Cut your hair while there's a big screen there watching the truth of God. <laughs> making, sure, making sure your hair cuts is just like what the word of God required. Making sure it's right. Amen. So we'll do that. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. In the book of Psalms 127. Yes. And at verse 1. All right, follow me in your Bible. Psalms 127 and at the first verse. Also, let me say this. There's so much coming to my mind. To my national construction team, Brother Jerome, President and uh, Brother Antoine Weiss and Brother Howard Weiss. I want Brother Jerome, I need you to contact the secretary of the National Construction Team. Tell her to put together a FaceTime link. Email it to all members of the National Construction Team for a church business meeting. 7 o'clock Wednesday night of this week. All members of the Truth of God construction team. 7 o'clock Wednesday night. I want a business meeting with all of you. So if you that are watching in Atlanta, make sure Brother Jerome get this message. If Rome is not watching. I have so much on the table to do and and only short time to do it in. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to work. Psalms 127 and at verse 1. All right, let's have it. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Also, I come to mind. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make up for lost time. All brothers and ancestors throughout America and Canada who have their CDL licenses, all brothers, all sisters who have their CDLs, I want to remind you, get your passenger licenses. Get your passenger licenses. Because to every new church that's bought or built, because the congregations are so large, each temple got to have a bus, and there's some temple got to have two coaches. Amen. Because the congregations are so large, all CDL drivers, brothers and sisters, get your passenger license. When, Pastor Jennings? Now. 
Amen. This is not a new announcement. It's old. <laughs> you need to have that. Because we have so many, so many hundreds. Some churches, the folks done outgrew the churches. And what I mean by outgrew them, there's no room in the main auditorium and there's no room in the overflow auditoriums. People are standing. All right now, Williams, I hope, hopefully I'm ready now. Now in Psalms 127 and at verse 1. Who's building? Except the Lord build the house. The very first statement. Except. Except. Except the Lord build the house. That let you know nobody, hear me good, can build this thing without God permission. That's right. Nobody. That's right. God's house is God's church. This building is just a natural house right. to house God's house. That's right. Do you get me? Yeah. This natural building is a natural house to house the spiritual house. That's right. The natural house, by the grace of God, is built by men, right. by God's permission. Yeah. The spiritual house is built solely by God Himself. That's right. God used a plumb line to build his house. Hear me good. That's right. Because he don't want his house to be crooked. Nope. He don't want no bows in the wall. That's right. He don't want no buckle. Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Follow me. Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Thus he showed me. Uh -huh. And behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line. The wall was made by what? By a plumb line. By a plumb line. With a plumb line in his hand. Now the plumb line is the instrument of straightness, as I said before, and it's in the hand of God. That's right. The reason why it's in his hand, that lets you know he guides it. That's right. He directs his building. He directs who goes in the building. That's right. Whenever one is baptized with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, that's another stone placed in the building. For by one spirit. The Bible says in the book of Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 13. Yeah. For by one spirit. By one spirit. Are we all baptized. Are we all baptized. Into one body. So the Holy Ghost has to place you in the body, in the church, in the bride. That's right. You can't put yourself in. No. It takes God to put you in. Right. When you repent of your sins and are baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue like they obtained it on the day of Pentecost, that's a lively stone added to God's building, God's church. That's right. Now the plumb line, hear me good, is in God's hand. Thus he showed me and behold. And behold. Back in Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Yes. Thus he showed me and behold the Lord stood upon the a wall. The Lord stood. Upon a wall. He, you know he stood upon the wall. Let you know he was watching over it. That's right. He was overseeing it. That's right. Amen. Making sure it goes right. Not only was he overseeing it. He uh, make sure it go right. So he decided to build it himself. That's right. Amen. God don't trust no man, yeah, man, to build his church. No way. Are you listening, viewers? That's right. Even though he came in the flesh, made men apostles, men is not building God's church. No. Men have to work with the Lord. That's the it. Bible said we are labor together, together. With, God. with God. And laboring together with God, man is not responsible That's right. for not one stone That's right. going in God's building. For, live, for we are labors together Do you with hear God. This? In 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 9. Tell you what? For we are labors together with God. With God. Ye are God's husband. Ye, ye, ye. you. Our God's husbandry. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. I told you this is not no bishop's church. That's right. Not my church, not your bishop's church. It never will be your bishop's church That's right. unless he started it. That's right. 
Thank God this is a church that no man started, no, no man built. Jesus established it himself. That's right. Listen at this. Ye are, ye are God's husband. Ye are God's husband. Ye are God's building. What is it? Back now in 1 Corinthians. Don't finish up Corinthians. Say where you at. Yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. You are God's husbandry. You are God's building. At verse 10. As a wise master builder. According to the grace of God which is given unto me. What is it? As a wise master builder. What kind? A wise master builder. You know, God don't want no dumb builders. <laughs> That's right. You know, I have to meet with the city <laughs> so much. And them are some of the most dumb and dumbest inspectors I ever seen. That's right. You know, when I sit at the table with inspectors, you would expect the fact that they should be able to understand blueprints. That's right. But when the, and how in the world is an inspector going to inspect my blueprints that they can't understand? My Lord. You're supposed to have knowledge of the blueprints. Yeah. You can't criticize my prints if you don't have knowledge of what prints are, no. if you think prints are little cartoons, you need to get away from the table. That's good. Now, viewers, hear me good. The word of God is the blueprints for the church. That's right. This is why I'm adamant. They keep the church just like Jesus kept it. That's right. Stay with the Bible. I don't care who I displease, who I make mad, who get angry, who say I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> That's right. I say to you like Jesus said, uh, you know, uh, they gathered around Jesus, the apostles did, and amen. And he said, uh, eat my body and drank my blood on one occasion then another occasion he said uh, you're going to betray me that's right you're going to leave believe me you're not going to stick around no yeah, you know diff one says on that matter and one said on that matter but even the hypocrite got involved that's right lord is it i is it i is it i huh that's right hey man he wanted to blend in <laughs> lord that's right is it, I? Is it I? He knew it was him. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Thou sayest, says. whatever you do, do quickly. Do quickly. Do quickly. So when men try to tell me, Pastor Jennings, you got to stop preaching this, and it's in the Bible. Pastor Jennings, I'm leaving if you keep preaching this, and it's in the Bible. A sister tells me, I don't care if she's a secretary for 400 years. A mother tells me, Pastor Janice, I've been with you since the day you started. But even those in the Bible, if you don't change, I'm leaving. Me? Me? I say like Al Pacino, you talking to me? <laughs> Pastor Janice, I'm leaving. Whatever. Whatever. You do. You quickly. Do how, church? Quickly. How you do it? Quickly. I've said before and I say again. We're not changing. No. We're not moving. Oh no. The Lord brought us this far. Right. And we're going to stay with the Bible. Thank God so the Lord can take us further. That's right. I had many men come in and try to lay ultimatums to me. <laughs> Laying an ultimatum to me is like striking oil in your toilet. That's not going to happen. And you pull out 100 barrels of crude. <laughs> It'll never happen. It won't happen. It'll never happen. No, no. Pastor Jennings, I'm a good man. Yeah, you can't afford to lose me. I can't be replaced. You bigger than God then. That's right. Because when I read the Bible, everybody can be replaced. That's right. Am I right, I like said? That's right. Moses died. Yeah. Joshua. Didn't he do so? Yes, he did. Come on, Joshua. Come on, Joshua. Rise up. Go on this journey. 
And Moses died and the Lord buried him, but the journey kept going. That's right. God swung Joshua in with no problem at all. That's right. And God told Joshua one thing that was so encouraging. Yeah. As I was with Moses. So shall I be with you. Right then that let Joshua know I got your back. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As I was with Moses. So shall I be with thee. So shall I be with you. That's right. Amen. So many men have laid ultimatums to me. Amen. And uh, I don't know what they thought they would approve or be successful in. But I'm a man who don't bow to nobody's ultimatum. No. Nobody. I can't be bought nope. by no price. That's right. Some folks say everybody got a price. If you do, speak for yourself. That's right. I am one man that don't have a price at all from nobody. Not at all. Because I was already bought. That's right. Yeah. That's I will right. say I was bought with, with the price. price. With the price. And all of God's people, Jesus came and purchased us already. That's right. And we're not for sale. That's right. You know, that's a good feeling, you know. That you're so steadfast and so firm and so settled. Hallelujah. Thank God and so grounded right. that nobody can offer you anything. I don't mean you won't get weak. I'd rather get weak than leave God. That's right. Yeah. Hey Amen. If I get right. weak, let me get weak and let me fall on my face and cry out that God will build me back up again. Amen. But I'm going to stay with God. Hallelujah. So uh, in the midst of weakness, the Bible said, let the weak say, say I'm that I'm strong. That's it. All right, son, go back to the book of Psalms. Back in Psalms 127 and verse 1. All right. Except the Lord build the house. Hear me, viewers. Amen. Except the Lord build the house. Build the house. They labor in vain. They All build it. labor. Yeah, be well. In vain. It's in vain. In vain. All of it. That's right. Regardless of your position, regardless of how much money you have, regardless of the size house, That's right. the notoriety, all churches that was founded by men. That's right. Labor in vain. Was in vain. Amen. All religions, hear me good, started by men. The labor in vain was in vain. Now, for the church from the Lord Jesus Christ, labor not to be in vain, nobody is allowed to lean to their own understanding. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's right. Nobody is allowed to lean to their own Understand it. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. With all thine heart. You brothers get some brothers on the nurse's unit quick. We have a brother here. He may have a reaction from sugar. All right. Come on. Let's have it. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. What is it? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not. Lean not. Unto thine own understanding. To thine own understanding. Everybody just pay attention now. That's right. Not leaning to your own understanding. When you do that, yeah. you bring contamination in the church. That's right. And that's something you don't want to do. Yeah. To contaminate God's church, you contaminate God's wish up. That's right. Amen. So regardless of how you view things, that's why I don't want to view nothing opposite from the way God view it. That's right. And uh, when you view a thing from the way God view it and people lean to their own understanding, look out, you yeah. got to have an argument. Right. You got to have a fight. Oh, yes. You got to have a disagreement. Mm -hmm. You know, many men throw age in my face. I'm older than you. I don't care. God is older than you. <laughs> That's right. Or do I care because you're older than me? God is older than you. That's right. Amen. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt, nobody Amen. know how to build the church yeah. 
better than the ancient of days. Great men are not always wise. Listen at this. Now in the book of Job, chapter 32 and verse 9. All right, son. Great men are not always wise. Great men. You know, men brag how many degrees they got, how long they went to school, what they went to school for. Right. Amen. I hear many men talk about different organizations, how well structured, how organized they are. Let me tell you this, viewers. There is no church organization under the sun can be more organized than the scriptures. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I don't care what they do. I don't care what they say. I don't care how many followers they have. I don't care how much money they have. That's right. Nobody, okay. yeah, man, can be more organized no. when you're not organized by the scriptures. That's right. Because the greatest organizer is the Lord himself. That's right. Huh? That's right. What is it, son? Great men are not always wise. Great. Give chapter and verse again. Job chapter 32 and verse 9. Great men are not always wise. Neither do the age. Neither do the age. Understand judgment. And that's the problem. Hmm. Many men and women is relying on the age. Their age. And say, well, I'm 70, I'm 80, I'm 90, so I know the way. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you want to know the way, Jesus said, learn of me. Learn of me. Don't look at your age. Look at what the scripture says. I said they should speak. Listen at this. Now, Job chapter 32 and we're at verse 7. The Bible said. I said they, I said, they should speak. They should, should speak. And multitude of years. And a multitude of years. Should teach should. wisdom. Should. Should. Should teach wisdom. Not that it does. That's right. But it should. Should teach wisdom. Teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man. What? But there is a spirit in man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 That's what I'm looking at. That's what you're looking at. I'm looking for the spirit. In man. That's in man. And the inspiration of and the almighty. the inspiration. Of the almighty. Of who? Of the almighty. What does he do, son? Giveth them understanding. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's it. Hallelujah. I want God's Hallelujah. inspiration. That's right. Was that God telling me your title, how long you've been pastoring, how Hallelujah. many members you have? I don't care nothing about that. No. What I'm interested in is the spirit. Spirit in man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, That's it. Spirit in man. That's in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty. That's what I want. That's it. That spirit, that spirit that's in man that's that inspires man. That's right. Glory to God, that spirit that's in man will inspire him. That's right. It gives him the inspiration of the Almighty. Of the Almighty. I'd rather be inspired by heaven than be inspired by college. Oh, yes. Huh? That's why I, I don't have no confidence in no cemetery school. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. Cemetery school will lead you away from God. That's right. And that's why a lot of men cannot see the things of the spirit because right. you're too wrapped up in tradition. Well, after that, in the wisdom of God. The customs of men will make you blind to Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. All right, tell me what you have. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21. Says what? For after that, in the wisdom of God. After that, in the wisdom of God. The world by wisdom. Who is it? Knew, the world. The world. By wisdom. By wisdom. Knew not God. That's my argument. That's it. Hallelujah. Many of you out there, hear me good. Worshiping, clapping, singing, shouting. Shouting. Talking about my, the my theological approach to things. <laughs> That's right. My Greek and my Hebrew and That's my right. Latin approach to things. That's right. Somebody told me that the Greek will give you the original translation. No, the Spirit of God to give you the, the original translation. That's right. Amen. That's right. You know, many men sometimes when I debate them, they want to quote Greek mm -hmm. and quote, uh, quote Latin and 
quote all that stuff. Listen, I wouldn't care if you quote every language in the world. For the Jews require a and sign. I'm going back to the author of languages. <laughs> That's right. And get his interpretation. That's it. You hear what the word of God says. First Corinthians chapter one. Now we're at verse 22. What is it? For the Jews require a sign. The Jews require a sign. And the Greeks. The Greeks. Seek after wisdom. They seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified. Oh, it's a God. Hallelujah. What do we lead on? But we preach Christ crucified. We preach Christ crucified. Crucified. Unto the Jews a stumbling block. Unto the Jews is a stumbling block. And unto the Greeks. Unto the Greeks. Foolishness. Is foolishness. But unto them which are called. Unto them that are called. Both Jews and Greeks. Both Jews and Greeks. Christ the power of God. Christ the power of God. And the wisdom of and God. And the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God. Do you see this? Hallelujah. This is why I don't look at other churches translation and then come out and say oh well I get that translation now I understand man I don't pay that no mind no I'm relying on the spirit that's in man in man because the foolishness of God because the foolishness of God is, is wiser what? than men wait a minute that's something and there is no foolishness in God <laughs> that's right think of that think of that Stop, give chapter and verse for this. First Corinthians chapter one and verse twenty-five. Hear me, viewers. Hear me, good. Because the foolishness of God, the foolishness of God, of God, is wiser than men. Can you figure that out? Can you figure that out, <laughs> viewers? Can you figure that out? That's right. Can you listen? Can you understand God foolishness? God foolish. And there's no foolishness in Him. <laughs> That's right. What is God foolishness, Pastor Jennings? The preaching of the cross That's right. is to them that perish foolishness. Foolishness. Because man is not able no. to understand the wisdom of God, mm -hmm. he is quick to call God wisdom foolishness. Foolishness. So therefore, from his perspective, mm -hmm. when man come along divinely inspired and said God is one. Mm -hmm. After he read Jesus down in Jordan, a dove land upon him, a voice speak from heaven saying, this is my beloved son to whom I'm well pleased. Right. Right then, the foolishness, foolishness of God of that God. took place in Jordan <laughs> right. makes man say, well, Jesus, one, dove, two, voice, three. Voice three. But yet the foolishness of God say, here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Is one. So the foolishness of God is, is wise. wiser. Wiser than men. Wiser, smarter. Than men. Than men. And the weakness of God. Wait a minute. Huh. Well, look at here. Look at here. <laughs> look at it. Look how beautiful it sounds. And the weakness of God. God weakness. Is stronger than men. And yet there's no weakness in him. That's right. He's the almighty. The almighty. No weakness. No. But he want to show man how dumb you are. <laughs> that, that's right. Until his weakness is stronger that he than doesn't men. even have. Is stronger than men. Stronger than you. Stronger. Stronger than you. You come along with your weak understanding and say the earth is 93 million miles away from the sun and the earth spin on axles. Hmm. Bible said he hung the earth on nothing. On nothing. Hmm? That's right. Bible don't say how far the Earth is from the sun, and me personally, I don't care. That's right. I just know that heaven and earth is going to pass away. That's right. Amen. And the works therein. The works therein. Amen. I don't try to figure out that type of foolishness. No. Give me God wisdom. You see, the church from the Lord Jesus Christ, we are full of God foolishness. That's right. And we function. Hear what I'm about to say now. Hear what I'm about to say. We function by the weakness of God. That's right. That's what right. do you think of that? What do you think of that? We preach heavenly foolishness. <laughs> That's right. And we function Go ahead. by God's weakness. But God has chosen the foolish Glory things of the world. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 27. Hallelujah. What is that? But God hath chosen the fool. Who chose that? God hath chosen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah. God hath chosen. The foolish things of the world. That's how the church fucks. That's right. God 
who chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise make you wise folk look stupid and God has chosen the weak things of the world he chose the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty look at here God come along and get a preacher that's right hallelujah get a man with no bible degree at all that's right glory to God that's right amen make him a preacher make him a can't speak no foreign languages that's right don't have no DD degree. That's right. No PhD. No. Never been to Bible college at all. Yes. Get him from the hood. That's right. Go, hallelujah. That's right. Yeah. Go right to the hood. That's right. Go right to the ghetto. That's right. Go to right God and stop by his house hallelujah. and make him a preacher. That's right. And then let him upset the world. That's right. By preaching God's foolishness. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care what Bible degree you have or what college you've been to. We are take the Bible and stop any cemetery school preacher mouth in the world. That's right. Don't care. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. To confound the wise. Amen. You, you're looking at a preaching fool. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's what I am. That's what you are. I'm a preaching fool. We are fools for Christ's sake. I, I have a lot of foolish ministers here. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. The first church of the Lord Jesus Christ we have a bunch of foolish bunch. ministers. That's right. That's all I want. That's it. I, I don't want no wise ministers. Oh, no. I want all foolish, foolish. ministers. That's right. That's right. Think of that, viewers. Think of that. We want foolish ministers. That's right. That's filled with the weakness of God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. God has chosen the foolish give, give, give things of the world. Give chapter and verse again, William. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 27. You see how backward this sound? That's right. All right. God has chosen the foolish God things of the world. God has chosen. The foolish things of the world. The foolish things of the world. To confound the world. I want him a fool for Christ. You better give me that. First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10. First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10. We are fools. We are fools. For Christ's sake. Yeah. That's right. What? We are fools for Christ's sake. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fool to preach there's one God. Hallelujah. I'm a fool to tell the world Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is God. We are fools. I'm a fool for Christ's sake. Tell the, hallelujah. To tell the world you must repent Go ahead. and be baptized, every Go ahead. one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm a fool to preach that. For I'm a fool to tell the world there's one church. That's right. Out of all these churches in the world, That's there's right. one church. That's right. Started by one God. Hallelujah. By one God. We are fools. We are fools. Hallelujah. For Christ's sake. We are fools. For Christ's sake. Over to God Hallelujah. for Christ's sake. Hallelujah. Huh? Go ahead. Man. Amen. That's what we are. Oh yeah, fools. Amen. So we, we, when we see we see these folk. Speaking in tongue and going down in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ, like some folk comment over the air, why why they move like that? That's a bunch of fools carrying on. That's right. Huh? That's right. Well, hallelujah, take off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Fool us. We are fools. For Christ's sake. Glory to God. That's right. We are foolish. Fools for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake. But you are wise in Christ. We, we, we just don't have no dignified Holy Ghost. <laughs> that's right. No proper spirit. Uh, proper. <laughs> uh, that's of the devil. That, that's right. That's out of hell. That's right. We are fools. We believe in heaven and like they had it on the day of Pentecost. Go ahead. Because the Lord said it's not another. Not another. What did he say? We are fools for Christ's sake. We are fools. Fools. 
even when you are full for Christ's sake, for Christ's sake. Uh, when the Holy Ghost come on you, your very foolish acting That's right. will be coincide with the Bible. That's right. Huh? That's right. You know, when you start to act outside of the Bible, now you are a different fool. Right. But when you act according to the Bible, right. only then you are full for Christ. For Christ's sake. Oh, God. That's right. What do you say, son? We are fools for Christ's sake. Uh -huh. But ye are wise in Christ. What? But ye are wise in Christ. You are wise in Christ. We are weak. We are weak. But ye are strong. Ye are strong. Ye are honorable. We are honorable. But we are despised. We are despised. Even unto this present hour. Uh -huh. We both hunger and thirst. We both hunger and thirst. And are naked and are buffeted. And are All right, that's enough. Go back to where you are, son. We'll go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty. Not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to come Now I want you to get this, viewers. When they tell you you got to go to Bible college to be a preacher, the God of heaven speaks plain. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. God has chosen the foolish things of this world. To confound the wise. English may be broken, mm -hmm. but it's plain. Plain. Paul said, having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. That's right. God preacher don't use words that you need Google <laughs> to look it up. And my speech and my preaching. Very plain. That's Hear right. this. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 4. I had some thought they was insulting me mm -hmm. by saying, look at the way he talked. He used is when he should have used are, and he used are when he should use is. All right. <laughs> All right. Right. You is going to hell. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Amen. <laughs> if, th if that don't work for you. That's right. If that don't work for you, you are going to hell. It's, you can say it very proper. Pastor. Either way, you're going. Going. That's it. Is won't keep you out. And R won't slow you down. No, it won't. You can complain about my grammar all you want. That's right. Hear what the word of God says. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 4. You see all this Bible? Amen. Hear this. And my speech. And my speech. And my preaching. And my preaching. Was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. This is how God make a preacher. That's right. God have never sent a preacher to entice you by the way he speak. No. The objective of God sending a preacher is never aimed to make you feel good That's right. and it's not a hype program. No. Purpose of church is for the save your soul from the wrath of God to come. That's right. The purpose of the message of holiness is to teach you how to make the right preparations. That's right. To meet God. That's right. In a language mm -hmm. that everybody, regardless of their education or not educated, yes. can definitely understand and identify with. That's right. Amen. I was went to take care of some business earlier this week, and there was a fella. Well, I can tell he was from the hood. He had a grill on his mouth, man, gold and looked like diamonds and all that. I invited him to church. I don't know whether he's here, Mr. Tyson. Mm. And uh, he said, are you Pastor Jennings? I said, yes, <laughs> I'm Pastor Jennings. <laughs> and uh, he said, wow, I, I watch your program. He said, I'm telling you, man, you make me look at church different. He said, uh, I got relatives that are woman preachers. You make me look at them different. Mm. And uh, I say, you, you, you keep looking at these things different until you look at yourself. That's it. And uh, I invited him to come out. He said, wow, I can't believe this. Can I take a picture with you? I said, yes, you can take a picture. But uh, after you get your picture, you better make yourself ready to change. That's right. Many thousands that I've met in my travel around the world want autographs and pictures. You know, I'm not into all that stuff. They want it, so I give it. And when, they, when it's done, I ask them, are you going to obey what we preach now? Right. Pastor Jennings, give me time. 
Because, listen, you can't make no money from my autograph. No. Hey, man, and you ain't going to get nothing because my picture's on your website. No. You better pay attention to what I'm preaching because this is the message of the last days. The world is in chaos. The wars that are taking place around the world and it's not going to get no better. The politicians don't look to them. No. Hey, man, there's one fool that's telling folks that people are eating cats and dogs. You know he done <laughs> lost it. Hey man. Yes. Hey man. Oh, 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 that's, that's that's fool talk. That's fool talk. Hey man. And there's another politician that's fighting for uh, hey man, your rights of killing children and all this stuff. So I don't vote for nobody. I just don't vote for nobody. Hey man. I vote for Jesus. <laughs> that's right. That's who I vote for. That's right. If you want to vote, that's your business. Your business. That's your business if you want to vote, but I don't vote for nobody. Right. Hey Amen. I my, my set my affections on things above, things above and not on things of the earth. That's right. Hear this now. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Yes, but See, our speech mm -hmm. and our preaching right. is not with enticing words. I am not trying to make friends by what we preach. No. I am not trying to preach so somebody can love me. No. Pat me on the back and say I want to be your buddy. That's right. Amen. Because some of the ones that claim they are your friend, they have betrayed you. Oh, yes. Yeah? Oh, yes. They have betrayed you or disrespect you or kick you out to the curb or set you out like a recycling bin. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Listen at this. First Corinthians 2 at verse 4. What is it? And my speech and my preaching. My speech. Hmm. And, and my, my preaching. Was not with enticing words. This is what's wisdom. wrong with me, viewers. That's right. That's right. That's what got me so messed up now. That's right. Because the Lord made me this way. Yes, indeed. My speech. And my preaching. My preaching. Was not Was with. not. Not with, not with enticing words of not, man's not wisdom. Not at all. Not at all. Not, not at with all. With enticing words of man's wisdom. Of man wisdom. But in demonstration of in the spirit. In demonstration of the spirit. And of power. And with power. That your faith should not stand. That your faith should not stand in the, in the wisdom, wisdom of, of men, men. But in the power of God. That's what this preaching does by the Holy Ghost. That's right. It crush men wisdom. That's right. Bring people back to Bible. Amen. Have confidence. You know how many thousands of people have told us, you know, you're preaching. They didn't know no better because it's the Holy Ghost preaching. That's right. But I understood what they were saying. They said, mm -hmm. you're preaching. Gave me hope again. That's wonderful. I lost hope in church. I lost confidence in church. I lost confidence in religion. Amen. Many thousands that are watching now say they stopped going to church. They say, mm -hmm. you, you're my pastor. I never met them, never saw them. They, I had several people email and say, well, whenever we know you're going to webcast, we hurry up and get our breakfast and our whole family. We get our Bible and our family sit in the living room or dining room or family room. We get our Bible and we have church. <laughs> Amen. And we tell our children while the word is being preached. They tell their children while the word is being preached. Listen, you go to the bathroom. They, they, to them, they write in church. That's wonderful. You go to the bathroom before Pastor Jennings get up because we don't want no moving. <laughs> Amen. Thank God we want the word of God to hear. Amen. Viewers, I'm telling you now and I'm telling you again. Stop going to church. That's right. I don't care how nice that bishop been to you. That's right. I don't care if he gave you food when you was hungry, paid your gas, electric and everything else Amen. if he don't tell you what the word of God said wow. you're going to go to hell while your light bill is paid That's right. you're going to go to hell while you got a table full of food That's right. don't look at what good he done no. for you naturally no. look at what he's doing to you spiritually That's right. come on back to Bible That's right. come on back come on back to Bible that's right Go back to the book of Psalms, son. Back in Psalms 127 and verse 1. What is that? Except the Lord build the house. Except the Lord build the house. They labor in vain Lord that build it. God, they labored in vain that build. Except the Except Lord keep the, Lord the city. Keep the city. The watchman waketh, but in vain. The watchman waketh how? But in vain. All right, now the preacher is a watchman. He's a watchman. Yes. 
The preacher is a watchman. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Did you hear this? In the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman. God have to make you a watchman. That's right. God put us responsible for all these thousands of people. That's right. In America and Africa, Canada, Europe, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, South Pacific, across the Atlantic. That's right. Somebody posted and said, Pastor Genesis is building the empire. Pastor Genesis <laughs> isn't building nothing. God is building his church. That's, right. That's it. That's you right. trying to credit me. You That's think right. I will be traveling, working, trying to save the soul of people? Mm. No, I'll go somewhere to an island where nobody know me. Amen. Take my wife and go to the beach. And, amen. And sit back, drink something cold and have some music on, nice, mellow, and mellow. so I can close my eyes and right. rock my toes and uh, <laughs> nobody recognize me. That's right. But here I am killing myself, standing on my feet dying. That's right. I'm not dying sitting down. No. I'm dying while I'm on my feet. That's right. Traveling around the world trying to save thousands by God's permission. That's right. And it's a wonderful thing. Amen. Wonderful thing to see how many thousands, no matter where you go in the world. Amen. If I would have went to Africa, to Mozambique, mm -hmm. and if there was only one person that would have came for those days. We would have preached the gospel to that one. That's right, that's right. Amen. That's right. And still would a, a videotape, a webcast, and let the camera go back to that one, right to that one. and come right back to the word. Amen. That one is just as important to me as one million. That's right. Amen. That's right. When you can't value one, that's right. you ain't fit to preach that's the 100. No. When you can't value one, you will never know how to value when you get 1,000. That's right. I know what it is to have a few. Yeah. I often give the testimony years ago when we was in the basement. I was traveling before I had a car. I would take Amtrak trains, mm -hmm. preach to one member. In Fredericksburg, Virginia, I only had one member. Yes. Sister Betty Greenhaw had church in her home in the basement. Got on the train once a month. She did. For 10 years. That's right. 10 years. That's right. She'll come meet me at the train station. <laughs> Mother Greenhaw, meet me at the train station, pick me up. Dropped me off at my hotel. We had no more members. Came time to eat. She had fixed dinner. I sit there and eat. She had sit there and eat. We'll talk about church. She said, All right, I got to drop you back off. I got to get things ready for service. She had dust off the bookcase. That was my pulpit. Go downstairs in the basement. When it's winter time, she had put logs. She had an old wood stove. Go down there and had service. Amen. When I come down and she down there, I will leave praise service. Tell her, tell her we're glad for everybody that's here. Thank God for all of these souls and there's only one, <laughs> only one person. Amen. Amen. I tell her, all right, testimony and praise service is open. You can sing and testify. She had testified, sang a song. I was saying my song and she would testify. I would give my testimony and say, we thank God for our pastor and leader, Pastor Jennings. We thank God for God keeping him. We thank God for him being here to bring us the word of God. Amen. Amen. And say, all right, it's time for offering. And uh, I walk out with the pan and she'll put her offering in. I'll put my offering in, bless the offering and say, all right. Hey man, we're going to introduce our pastor now. We're going to ask everybody to listen attentively. <laughs> Amen. And then after I, I, I will introduce myself and then run around the bookcase and say, greetings, everybody. 
when I was faithful to that one member. That's right. For 10 years. That's right. 10 long years. Amen. Amen. I'm a firm believer in the value of one soul. I say unto you that likewise. That listen at this. Now the book of St. Luke chapter 15 and verse 7. That's what? I say unto you that likewise. I say unto you. That likewise. That likewise. Joy shall be in heaven. Joy. Joy. Shall be in heaven. Over one sinner that repenteth. Over one sinner. That repenteth. That repenteth. More than over 99 just persons. More, which, over more than 99 just persons. Which need no repentance. That need no repentance. That's it. So I want to keep heaven happy. That's, that's right. That's right. Hallelujah. You know, listen. If he get happy over one, over one, I can imagine how he feel over 100. That's right. So viewers, if you ever hear that Pastor Jennings went somewhere and, uh, and the camera panned the audience and there's one soul, oh, yeah. and if you get over social media and say, aha, uh -huh, you see that? And start laughing and making mockery, that's all right. That's all right. I don't mind having one member. Having one. Amen. At one time, there was only one. That's right. And Abraham was he. That's right. Huh? Oh, yes. So I don't mind having one. One. If I can get that one soul to repent by God's permission. That's right. And give up. That's right. And get heaven rejoicing. Joy shall be in heaven. Joy. Joy. Glory to God. Shall be in heaven. Over one Remember seven. what the word of God say in the book of Psalms. Back in Psalms 127 and verse 1. That's what? Except the Lord build the house. Except the Lord build the house. That's what makes the church by the Lord Jesus Christ so beautiful. That's it. I'm in the church that God is building. That's right. He's not finished building it yet. No. Amen. Somebody wrote me and laid me out and told me the church came to a halt. When Bishop Johnson died, man, you's a fool. That's a fool. What, what, what do you think God is? Right. Bishop Johnson was not the cornerstone of the church. No. Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. Chief cornerstone. In whom all the builders is fitly framed together. That's right. If I die, that's not the end of the church. No. no. When will the church cease the building of it come to an end? When the Lord appear in the heavens, the heavens. that stop the building project. That's right. Huh? That's right. The building project is over. Oh, yes. When he appear in the heavens. Oh, yes. Amen. He won't be building his church now. He going to be presenting, presenting his building unto himself. That's right. The Bible says what? Except the Lord build the house. Except. Amen. When the Lord is building it, you will get results. Yes, you will. <laughs> Go and say, God, there's nobody living that can make me believe otherwise. That's right. You look at the results everywhere we go in the world because God is building it. That's We're it. not out here on our own and trying to do it on our right. own or try to be like anybody but Jesus himself. That's right. Amen. Let the Lord build it. That's when right. the Lord is building it, you have got to get results that God wants you to have. That's right. Except, except the Lord build the house. Except the Lord do the work. They labor in vain that build. Do you hear that? Amen. I don't want our labor to be in vain. In vain. None of it. None of it. When I see the word of God falling until it pricks the heart of the cameramen, mm. then they start going and wound the water. I thought about my brother Joshua. Amen. He's one of the cameramen. My God, the, listen, he's on the receiving end of the word of God. That thing kicked him so hard, he went down in water. Wonderful. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Wonderful. Amen. I, I, I'm, I'm hunting all the cameramen. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I'm, I'm even hunting Russ back there. He got his back turned to me now, <laughs> and I know he got a big smile on his face. <laughs> You might as well turn around, Russ. I see you back there. <laughs> Go and say, God, I'm hunting Russ back there. That's right. I'm hunting everybody. I'm hunting everybody. I want the world to be saved before the Lord appear. That's right. Up in the heavens. That's right. Go and say, God. We want the world to be saved. That's right. 
Amen. Because the end of all things is at hand. Yes, it is. You out there that's trusting in riches and the money and the wealth and popularity. I told you your money can't help you. No. Look at the celebrities now. Everything is blowing up in their face. Right. Amen. It's blowing up in their face <laughs> all over. Oh. All that singing and partying and dancing and drinking and having parties on private planes. Well, and having all that stuff. Thank God what's done in the dark is going to come back in the light. The light. That's right. I'm telling you, human family. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. Don't trust your wealth. No, no. Don't trust your riches. No. Trust in the living God. That's right. That's Don't, right. Hallelujah. Glory oh, right to God. That's Don't right. trust that stuff. No. Many of you run on the TD Jakes for safe haven. That's like running to hell. That's right. You run the Creflo dollar for safe haven yeah. to make your image look good. Your image will still be of the devil. That's right. You run to any false prophet for safe haven. Don't you know God is our refuge? God is our refuge. Huh? That's right. You better repent now. Repent. You better repent. That's it. You better repent, repent. viewers. Hard head, stubborn, high minded arrogant, hell-deserving thing out there. That's right. Repent! Repent! Bible says in Acts 2.38, 2, repent. That's it. And be baptized. Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. Do you hear this? Then Peter said unto them. Yeah, man. How, how many was baptized before I came down? How many? Fourteen was baptized already before I even came down here. Wonderful. That's wonderful. 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 Then Peter said to them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of be you. Be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. For the remission of sin. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's the new birth. That's, right. That's, right. That's how you're born again. That's right. When you got it just like the word of God says, like you told Nicodemus. Yes. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. flesh. But that which is born of the spirit is spirit. spirit. Marvel not what I say unto you viewers. Oh, you must be born, again. Must be born again. Not bow your head and raise your old dirty hands right. and thought you accept Christ. You ain't accept no Christ. No. Confess with your mouth and believe in your old wicked heart. <laughs> None of that prayer sinners prayer. None of that. None of that. None of that. Be sprinkled in the Catholic church. Right. Listen, if you're going to let a priest throw water on you, throw it back on him. That's right. You repent like the Bible says. Repent. Be sorry for being so wicked and full of hell. That's right. And be baptized. How much, William? Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. To get your sins removed and you shall receive. The gift of the Holy Ghost. If there's anyone else here who would like to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ that was not baptized this morning, stand on your feet if you want it. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow them. All of you that are standing, follow them. Glory to God. Baltimore, remember, this weekend coming, the 28th and 29th, I'll be at the Baltimore Sharon, Sherrington in the harbor, 300 South Charles Street. Everybody in Baltimore, come. Everybody throughout the state of Maryland, you come. Virginia, Delaware, everybody that are watching, you come. 300 South Charles Street, Baltimore, Sheraton, in the harbor. You that is in Chicago, remember, October 12th and 13th, I'll be at the Double Tree by Hilton, Chicago, Oak Brook, 1909, Spring Road. That's Oak Brook, Illinois. Amen. You come out, you that is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we thank God again for blessing us with a wonderful temple. Amen. Listen out. Uh, over the air, we'll be letting you know the date and the time uh, where we will give you your walkthrough so we can let you know what work has to be done so we can get things moving. Who will give me the correct time, brethren? 228. Very good time. We'll come back, God willing, at 5 o'clock. Wish up to be here in the main auditorium. Amen. So you come on back now. Move around and get a chance to go get something to eat and 
fellowship with each other and enjoy. Yes, brother. All right. Enjoy the work of the Lord. In fact, we're going to pray for everybody. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pray for everybody. Amen. All right. Let us all stand. Come on back at five o'clock. God be our helper. Eternal, everlasting God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we honor you, we praise you, we thank you for what you have done and what you are doing, for your marvelous work that you continue to wrought in our eyes, for your faithfulness to the church that you started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem. We thank you for the house that you built and that you are building. Thank you for the thousands of souls that's given up, going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You continue to prove over and over again that your word will never return unto you void, but it shall accomplish wherever you send it. We thank you for the brothers that labor with us in word and doctrine. We thank you for the souls by the number that have waked up and are waking up, ready to obey and hear and walk with the word of God. Continue to give us strength. Stand by us, give healing to the sick, strength to the weak. That we're just crooked, mixed street. Make provisions. For all that is in need, according to your divine will and purpose, bless us. As we depart from this place, let us go back to our separate places with no hurt, harm, or danger. Remember the saints around the world, them that are watching, that's in the valley of decision, prick their heart, that they may give up, cry out, what must I do to protect God to be saved? We are forever indebted to you, O God. We thank you moreover. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Let every heart say amen. amen. Remember.